843, welcome back. Here inside the BT studio, Karen McLay, our uh, localist expert with Flair Magazine. There is the cover of the latest magazine. And when you have the term localist, just so people know, you're doing research for us, but what's always the focus of the things you bring in here? It really is a focus on people who uh, make and create everything in Vancouver. So not only big companies that are in Vancouver, but really people who are doing the majority of their work here in the city. Which is a great way to support the local economy because we know there is plenty of choice, which we'll talk about in a second. But first, as the season's changing, cooler temperatures, we've got to get the wrap on, and that's where we're starting. That's it. Eliza Faulkner, who just showed at the Vancouver Fashion Week show, actually, uh, makes really great clothing, uh, really luxurious materials, and of course, you nailed it, the wrap jacket, which is a huge trend this season, so she has a great selection of outerwear as well. Nice staple that you could wear, I'm sure, in uh, many different environments, which is great, but yeah. then obviously, I see all these types of accessories that come out <laughs> and get set for the season. You need to accessorize. Uh, this is one of my favorite collaborations, actually. Two companies in Vancouver came together. Uh, Brunette is the new black and Good Husband Apparel. So they came together to make a sweatshirt collaboration that also has little goodies for the little ones. So on Good Husband Apparel, you can purchase the children's size, and then uh, Brunette is the new black has the has the adult size. So you can Pretty play matchy-matchy <laughs> yeah. with little babies yeah. out there too, which is great. Now these yeah. are cool designs when you come to color and, uh, and textures. That's it, yeah. Jackson Row is another local company, and uh, really beautiful designs of outerwear as well, accessories. She makes wraps, but of course, really beautiful super soft scarves, hats, pretty much anything you can imagine. Blankets for your couch, yeah. So perfect as we go into the cooler weather, I mean maybe eventually. <laughs> How hard is it to get noticed for a lot of these local designers and retailers given the competition and the landscape? It does take a lot of work I think and you know they're making really excellent products but for sure we have huge retailers, we have magazines that are featuring you know not local so I think that it takes a lot of work for them. They have to really be strong and the product has to be exceptional for them to get noticed. Which is another great part of the feature and I was just saying to Kara during the break I'm like salivating with this right <laughs> in front of me anytime you put this type of candy no. uh, it's always a great drop. Well Carameller candy which is in Yale Town what's great about them is that they have no GMOs no trans fat so if you're looking for Halloween goodies it's a wonderful choice um, but even as an adult if you're trying to be a little bit more conscious it's nice and plus they're beautiful so nice to bring as a gift as well. Always just try having one it never works oh, the bag's empty then you're sitting there <laughs> with this gift Nobody has feeling. to know. Yeah. <laughs> That's our secret. Uh, tell us about the pillowcases here. So this is White Bricks, and she makes really fun, funky pillowcases, which is great. Um, graphics have been a trend in clothing, as you can see, but also in homeware. So this is something she makes all sorts of different handmade pillows, and she uses eco-friendly water-based ink. So all very natural, really great, and fun. And with this, is this a design that you can customize if you walk in and say, hey, I really want this image or these you know, words? probably. She does have a selection on her store, on her Etsy store, but I would hunch that she would be happy to work with people, definitely. And, and I guess that's a good part of, you know, going local as well, and I think one of the last times I, I <laughs> saw you was when uh, Nordstrom had its big opening in the city. What do you think of the retail landscape and the options that are out there? Is is, is it too much? Is it bringing more shoppers uh, to, to the downtown core? You can't ever say too much because <laughs> I am a shopper through and through, but I think it's actually great for Vancouver. It's bringing more people here. I think that it will be interesting to see how holiday season goes if we bring um, more travelers to Vancouver to just for shopping um, so it might help our local stores as well actually which is great so having more energy more people I think it's a wonderful thing well it's like a super sale for the tourists especially <laughs> the Americans with the Canadian That's dollar right. yeah. the way it is Half well price. listen these are great ideas here thanks so much for coming by once again there is the cover of the latest flair magazine out uh, on next issue as well you can pick it up